crypto morning tea. Good morning, everybody. It's September 13th, 2021. My name's Piano Matty B. That is Scaramucci's. And this is your morning TA. A brief glimpse into the crypto markets where the sun's shining, where the wind's blowing, all the humble opinion of this piano. Zamboni bringing the data. The FOMO index has climbed to 44 from yesterday's 32. And nosy miss news bomb social media market sentiment in a rent control department in Queens is at 70%. Which means every time people talk about Bitcoin, it has a 70% positivity rate. Bitcoin dominance has inched up to 41.6%. 24-hour volume has dropped to 115.7 billion. And the overall market cap is 2.01 trillion. Still over 2 trillion. Give or take 100 million. Now over on the four hour chart, we see price action has reversed its role with the 20 moving average from support to resistance, from dominant to submissive. As it tested it at 45.5, that key level we spoke of ad nauseum last week and has settled in at 44.2. Looking at the chart, it's hard not to see a bearish pattern playing out here where we are creating lower highs and low and low. It's not what we want to see and it's not where we want to be. But it's the truth now and it's what we have to accept. And if I were an optimist, which I am, My dad, I would point out a little bit of positive divergence over on the MACD. (laughs) Where we see price action going down. The MACD going up. To me, positive divergence is best explained using the Black Friday analogy. Price action is the workers in Best Buy on Black Friday. And the MACD are the lunatics outside waiting to rampage the store to get their fifth 42-inch TV they don't need. Price action going down. Interest is going up. Positive divergence in a nutshell. But alas, this is the four-hour chart. So we need to take everything with a speculative grain of salt. Now over on the daily, it's a little more of a sobering picture as price action has fallen under the 200 moving average. Briefly tested the 50, took out its knees to be currently under all moving averages. (laughs) It's not the best place to be. It's the price actions Murphy Law where everything that can go wrong will. Now I'd be lying if I didn't hear the faint sound of women singing. The old wives tale. Sing it with me now. That which once wicked will get candlestick. Then we just reset and close the candle. Down at 42.5 and just be done with it all already. To me, these charts' sticking points are almost like properly building a house. You can't have something wrong with a foundation yet continue to build over it because the general contractor has a timeline to keep. No. (laughs) You have to go back and fix what's out of whack and then move on. And here it might be a simple case of candle sticking that wick. To me, hitting the 38% fib level of 42.5 and candlesticking that wick would probably send one of my favorite bands 
entries galore into a world tour. And we would see retail traders opening up with longs because that's what these levels are. They're like crumbs that Hansel and Gretel have left in the forest so we know how to get back. Of course, whales are circling the shores as well, and this could all end if they trigger up and buy. My dad eye is not a big fan of this MACD. Hi, how you doing the zero levels? And the low ticket sales make me think that we are vulnerable to increased volatility with less money, meaning it doesn't need as much pressure, either on the retail side or the whales, to make some big moves. It's like the less people in a room, the more you can hear one person talk. <laughs> you might not like what they're saying, but you're definitely gonna hear every word of it. Some points of interest if and when we candlestick the 38 is 43.7. And if that doesn't hold, we will see the wives' tail play out. And as such, balance the universe. And we will get on with our lives. Captain DCA is an accumulation bliss at these levels. But the beauty of Captain DCA is that it puts you in an almost perpetual state of bliss, regardless of the price. And we know where scarcity will take this asset. Its end game is predefined in its financial DNA. That's why we're talking about it and not gold or oil or some other asset the legacy system has peddled to the masses. It's also why they are not talking about it. They don't want you to know. Because <laughs> it's the end of their system. And they're not going down without a fight. It's not going to be easy. Nor can it be or else everyone would be in it now. And they aren't. We are the front running pioneers of this new parallel structure. We take on the responsibility of pushing it in, up. And over the walls the elite have built to keep us out. And those walls are simultaneously getting smaller as we get bigger. So remember. We're playing the same game as our psychopathic elected lead. That's right, it's the long game. So zoom out and have a fantastic day. Bitboy Crypto Morning Tea.